Hi guys, it's Max here with dartsreviews.tv in association with dartsplanet.tv. Today we've got some quite iconic darts from Red Dragon, the Amberjacks. These have been around years. There's so many different styles to choose from. Obviously we got the Pro Ones and these are the 22 gram ones. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a close look because like I said, there's varying styles, varying grips and varying shapes. So we'll go head over to the table, have a closer look. Okay, we're over the table with the Red Dragon Amberjacks. We've got the 22 gram ones here, 90% tungsten. What can I say? Amberjacks are quite an iconic sort of Red Dragon dart. Everyone seems to know what they are. Red Dragon packaging, quite plain, simple, very generic. Over on the back, the only thing that says that these are the Amberjacks is the little barcode down here. And these are the Amberjack Pro 1, 22 grams. Got the pictures of the players, a little bit of warning there. As I said, quite a generic sort of packaging unless you get player darts now with Red Dragon. Let's open them up, have a look at the dart. Oh, one falling out. And here we go, we've got the EVA foam insert with the standard sort of like flights there and obviously the three sets of amberjacks with the bright orange stem. So we'll get one out, have a closer look. And here we go. Right, starting with the point, we've got a matte black point, so it gives you a bit of grip going into the board. Then we go into this ball nose, into these deep, evenly spaced grooves with the wide ring grip. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those before we go into these orange filled rings there. It's sort of like standard thinner ring there. And then we've got the red dragon etched section that separates the front to the back. And at the back, we've got another two of the amberjack orange rings and one of the deep cut rings with the two grooves either side and a single ring. And then it goes straight into the VRX stem, which is a nice bright orange. Right, we've got a nice PVD coat in there with the black with the orange filled rings. The grooves are nice and deep, so with hard fingers you can grip in and you get a nice push at the front. You have got a section at the back, but you're holding literally right at the back of the barrel. So you might not feel so like, as confident as if you had like a little extra section before it goes to the stem. Um, I'm a rear holder. Um, I, I think I'm going to have to move down to be into the middle. Um, decent parallel dart. As I said, these are the 22 grams and these come in at 6.35 millimeters wide and 50.8 millimeters long so a standard length and width and as i said they're an iconic dart for red dragon the amberjacks they've been going for years they're a great start starter dart and you can't really go wrong with them really it all depends on where you hold the dart to which set you get i suppose but uh, we'll head over to the board we'll have a throw see how we get on and then we'll have a nice review on these Okay, we're over the, the board here. We've got the Red Dragon Amberjacks. That's striking black and orange. Very iconic dart. Been about for quite a few years. These have been the starting dart for quite a few players, I'd say. But uh, we've got a nice sort of ring grip there. Fingers go in nicely. I'm going to have to hold slightly forward because that sort of wide metal ring, silver ring there is exactly where I hold. But uh, we'll have a couple of throws just so I can get used to it. And then we'll go into our 201 practice routine. Nice steady straight start. 59. They go nice and straight, they feel okay in the hand. These are the 22 grams, so they are a little bit lighter. Steady 60, all around that treble. Okay, we're going to go into our 201 practice routine. Game on. <laughs> 99 score, that's not too bad for the first three. 
102 left to get. Oh dear, wrong side. Oh, we went for the cheeky ball finish. 77 scored, 25 left to get. And there we go in two darts. Well, eight darts, not the greatest, but I'm not too bad. It's still under nine darts, which I'm happy with. And for an iconic sort of dart, I, I think that's fair to me, really. They are a little bit shorter, and because of my grip had to come forward, I wasn't the greatest. But uh, I think we'll go and have a review on these. Okay, we had a throw of these. Uh, I think I'd done quite well. Eight darts, I threw them nice and steady. The grip was nice. The flight was nice. Um, like I said, Amberjacks, they're a very iconic, sort of like budget friendly dart. Um, and speaking of budget friendly, and um, these ones come in at £29.90 and they are 90% tungsten, so absolute bargain. What can I say? Um, great thing about Amberjacks, there's varying styles. These ones with the sort of like wider ring grip at the front, and then you've got the orange ring either side of that brush section, which is a bit of a narrower ring grip, really does like suits so many different people i think that lots of people are going to get on with these ones as i said these are the pro one version um if you're a rear thrower you might struggle getting your placement with that brushed bar section um but uh yeah you can play about a little bit and for this sort of price for 90 percent tungsten you're not going to complain um the grip i'll give 2.5 dead in the middle like i said it's a standard ring, but it's nicely placed. You get a decent flight out of it. Um, we here have here the 22 gram, which are the lighter ones. They come in on 22, 24 and 26 gram. So there's varying weights for everyone. And like I said, this is such a good budget friendly dart. It's going to be ideal for beginners. Um, if you like the grip, obviously it's going to be ideal for pros as well. But uh, if you agree or disagree with anything I've said, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. Uh, if you've got a set, you could head over to dartsreviews.tv, leave us a review. It helps other players out, it helps us out. Um, I do love to read the feedback and I try and comment back if anyone does leave, leave us a message. Um, and on that note, you could tick subscribe and tick the notifications. Uh, we do have loads of reviews coming up in the future. There might be a set of darts that suits you or something you're looking forward to hearing about. Um, and obviously, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.